First, there are breaking developments tonight in the Tampa Bay Rays Stadium saga. Just within the past 30 minutes, the team confirming that they met with Tampa Mayor Jane Castor and County Commissioner Ken Hagen. It's still unclear what today's talks really consisted of or whether they'll once again explore potential stadium sites in Hillsborough County. But the Rays saying today that they took a meaningful step towards securing the future of baseball in Tampa Bay beyond 2027 when their lease is up with the city of St. Petersburg. But in the statement, the team also reiterating that they are now fully committed to the concept of a sister city sharing the team between the Bay Area and Montreal. And this is the year that could define the next 30 years for the Tampa Bay Rays. New tonight, Eric Waxler has the new details on the push the team is now starting to convince local fans this can work. St. Petersburg here in Tampa or Montreal, Canada. Just where will the Rays play in the years to come? This season could be less about how the team does on the field and more about which field they will call home in the future. Rays Fan Fest included a sales pitch from management. You know, the idea is you have these two markets that both love baseball. Combined, we have the ability to do more with more and everyone is gonna be happier with a better product on the field. The team's leadership is trying to convince fans that sharing the Rays with Montreal might be the only way to keep baseball here at all. If we can do this, we can figure it out, we may be able to solve the problem. If not, I would argue the results are much worse for all of us. The Rays owner also made his pitch. Talking on WDAE Radio, Stuart Sternberg says Major League Baseball has all but written off the Tampa Bay market. With four or five games to go last year, we're fighting for the playoffs. You know, we had home games left against Boston. We had 7,300 people in the building. So if you can tell me how I get from 7,300 to 30,000 because the area is growing in a few years, I'm with you. Many details haven't been revealed yet on how the split would even work, including what the team would be called and where the money would come from to build new stadiums in both cities. I'm not a fan. Not a fan of the Montreal idea. Michael Lort studies baseball more than the average fan. He even runs a Twitter account called Tampa Bay Baseball Market. He says our area doesn't need to share the Rays. We support hockey. We support football. Um, you know, we support all these other sports. I mean, we now have an XFL team. Lort says because of the Montreal talk, it will be hard for fans to stay devoted to the team. We have to live year by year. And that Montreal crowd will stand over us. Um, consistently. The immediate future is a little more certain. We do know for sure pitchers and catchers report in Port Charlotte on Wednesday and the Rays first spring training game is February 22nd. In Tampa, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. And we recently produced a full circle special report on the future of Major League Baseball here in Tampa Bay. You can see that story and all of our in-depth stories on our free streaming news channel. Just scroll right to the full circle shelf.